Imagine this, you and your friends get hired by a company and they send you on to all these moons that used to have a bunch of factories and everything on it to go and get scrap from it. You've probably seen Lethal Company in your timeline multiple times from other YouTubers, but besides their fun little goofy thumbnails, it actually has underlying horror elements. In this video, we're going to see what we can accomplish in 7 days, will we meet our quota, will we die in the process of that, or will we get fired? Find out on... Welcome to your first day on the job. Our first day was very eventful. I have recruited our board game and we got a bunch of tutorials and introductions to everything. There was a bunch of paperwork that we could have read, but for some reason I refused to read it. I don't know why. Uh, I am too tired to read all this. Here, here, you, you take this. Wait, I don't want to... What the fuck is this? It's in Braille! What the fuck? I ain't reading this shit. If I wanted to read, I'd be in school. No, I joined the fucking SEAL Team 6 or whatever the hell this is. We got introduced to the terminal, and the terminal is the most important thing on our ship. The terminal is where you scan planets, you can buy stuff in the store, you go to different moons. You can even talk about your favorite animal and how you work in a team setting. We go to the very first moon, which by the way, why do the moons have atmospheres? Wouldn't they count as planet if they had an atmosphere? The game takes place at 8.02 every morning we get there and we arrive, and well, we goofed off for the first few hours because we suck at our jobs. <laughs> Let's see, let's see it, let's see you twerk. Come on, let's do it. Yo, you throwing it back! Yo, what about this? <laughs> oh, we're gonna die. We're gonna die horrible deaths. This game has a proxy chat, so the further we go, the further we hear each other. And we wanted to test that out to see how it would work, how far away it could go. And man, it is terrifying how far it could go. Yo, how f you want to test oh. out the proximity chat? You want to see how far away we can go? Yeah. All right. Gabe. Yo, can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh my God, you're s you're so far away. As we enter the abandoned building looking for scrap, this is where things really pop off. We find a key and we find a bunch of other items and an entity in here. Don't make me shit like that. I can't see any- oh, there's nothing in here. What the this? It's literally just like a, a crappy cell that has- Hold on, there's a uh, slash to talk? What the fuck was that noise? Oh, uh, there's a slime. Oh, look, it's so cute! Look at it! Bro, do not go near that slime. Touch it. Touch it. I dare you, I tripled up there. Oh shit, um... I'll touch it. Oh! We end up finding a power cells that powers the old abandoned building, and well, in the grand scheme of things, I kind of regret grabbing this one. <laughs> oh! What? Yo, get the fuck out! Get out! We're dying in here! Wait, 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 wait for me! What the hell, why do you- why do you have that germ- giant- Do we need that for something? Uh. <laughs> oh! 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 Ah! Gabe! Gabe! Gabe, where'd you go? Gabe! Ah, oh, fuck me, I'm by myself. All we could see in the distance was a faint light, and that light was from the power cell that Gabe was carrying. And, well, I needed to figure out what happened to him. Did he die? What happened? And, well, I was proven right. He did end up dying, and I was terribly stricken with grief in the process of that. Not knowing what to do, I ultimately decided I had to do something. I couldn't wander around the dark no more, and radiation was gonna kill me either way, so I decided to do what I thought was best. I'm back in the same spot. Use the computer to be able to access school. Man, fuck this. I'm just. Slide, take me. Take me. <laughs> oh. What happened? What happened? Why are you bitching? What? Why? What happened? Because I didn't want you that to leave. I didn't want you to get us, aboard. So I turned around and I ran into the slime and died. Oh, you were that low? Well, as soon as you yeah. opened that thing, the power thing, it was like radiation or whatever the fuck. <laughs> I was the most paranoid people. employee. <laughs> I 
For the second day, we ended up going back to the same exact planet, but we ordered flashlights and a bunch of other tools in the process of that, even though we didn't know where to get them at all. I low key the art style is kind of good, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's a so sharp though. Yeah, the ice cream noise is actually our items being dropped. I also tried to scare Gabe too, and it didn't work. Ah! Hi. Did I get you? No. Today was a good haul day because we ended up finding a bunch of stuff, but more importantly, we ended up finding this. Oh, oh, I got scrap! I got a jar of pickles! <laughs> Hell yeah! Let's take that back to this ship, man! With mine and Gabe's inventory filled, we ended up going back to the ship to drop off a bunch of the loot that we found, and we also found this on our way back. On our way back, we found the greatest thing of all time, and why is it so big? Oh, cash register! What? Oh, this is not heavy. I'm bringing it back. Ay, <laughs> shit. I mean, look how huge this damn thing is. He can't- he's not even holding it in his hand. It's literally levitating. It is actually levitating in his hands. I have no idea what the hell's going on in this game at the time. It's 5.01. We have until midnight to dip, or the ship is going to leave without us, so we ended up going back inside to find even more loot because we wanted to go over the quota if we could because we didn't even reach it yet. I thought we did, but we really did not. I ended up finding a bolt, and, well, Gabe ended up, I think, falling to his death. Oh, we got some fucking metal sheeting. Let's go. Ooh, God, that's a... Yo, where'd you go? Hello? Did you die? It was 6.42 and I headed back to the ship to leave. And, well, my theory of Gabe dying actually was proven right. And I was stricken with grief. <laughs> fucking dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> We had one day left to meet our profit quota, and our profit quota was going to hit us hard. I ended up reading up on how to sell to the company, and return and selling, and a bunch of other stuff in here that I needed to know, that I should have known. We headed back to the same moon that we did before, and this time it was actually covered in fog like Silent Hill, and we wanted to test how far we could see each other in this fog, because man, that shit was kind of creepy. Look, look, yo, look, look at me fade into the fog. <laughs> yeah, that's I just... still see you, I still see your silhouette. <laughs> okay. Despite us ordering stuff again, we ended up not getting our flashlights, and we also ended up stumbling upon a new entity that we seen on this moon. What the? Do you not see that? What? You... I'm going, I'm going home. <laughs> what? what are you talking about? I'm going home. I just saw the giant. Ah! 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 Get the fuck out! Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> we ended up taking a massive L in the process of that, and well, because we both died, we end up losing all of our scrap whatsoever. Even though it was on our ship, it doesn't really make too much sense. But we have zero days left to meet our profit quota, and well, the company is going to be pissed. We sure as hell are going to get fired, but we wanted to head to the company site so that way we could see what to expect when we get there and well the company site's kind of fucking creepy if i'm honest with you give me quota dog so uh, what <laughs> we didn't yo, we did not meet quota yo look uh, come on come on come on come on come on get the fuck out get the fuck out we get the fuck out of here fuck the company i know i hate this company <laughs> What the fuck was that? Get what us the fuck, was that? the fuck out of here! Ah! I want to play it. Want to play it? I quit. I quit. I resign. Fuck oh that. my god! Fuck this, please. Fuck our job. Wait for ship to land. All right, we're waiting for the ship to land again. As you have not made the profit, oh! 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 This is your fault. This is this is your fault. He did it. He did it, boss man. Ah! Getting sucked into the vacuum of space is one hell of a way to tell you that you're fired because we did meet our profit quota. Hopefully the fourth day couldn't be this bad.
Our fourth day was spending exploring a new moon, not a new planet, even though the moon has an atmosphere and weather effects. It, the weather effects for this one was rain, it was storming, there was lightning, there was a bunch of stuff. We ended up heading to the new moon, Bow, B-O-W, and we ended up going to a new abandoned building with this weird creepy bridge. And well, because we're in a new moon, there are new entities to be found, and well, sadly, we ended up finding them. Also, we didn't have our gear because we're too stupid to realize how to get it. Once again, as we're looking for scrap, we end up finding the power cell to the entire building, and while this power cell, during the rain segments, well, it actually has a static charge released to it, and that static charge, uh, aka the lightning is gonna strike it, and it will kill you if you're holding on to it. Thankfully, I dropped it. What? I got it. Oh, fuck. Oh! I had to play this little mini game I had to do where I dropped it, picked it back up, dropped it, picked it back up over and over again. Eventually, Gabe said, screw that, and he ended up grabbing it himself. We were so close to the ship, he's like, screw that, I'm just dragging it into it. And funny enough, as soon as he dropped it in the ship, the ship got hit by lightning, and that pretty much concludes the fourth day. We got a bunch of gear, we got a bunch of junk, and yeah, that's it. We ended up leaving that moon. <laughs> So I actually lost a lot of footage, so I'm sorry about that. So we have zero days left, so we're going to count this as the fifth day. We went to the company, and we sold all the loot that we possibly could. In the process of that, and trust me, we got a lot. We didn't really encounter anything eventful. We had 203 over 130. We got a quota. It finally got reached for once. And we had a new profit quota of 241. And we ended up finally figuring out how to get gear. Yes, we get, finally figured out how to get our gear after all this time. We, had to get, we finally got a flashlight. We finally got a shovel. And we got a TV! That was the most important thing of all. We got a fucking TV! Let's go! We head to the first planet once again, and the first planet with flashlights was so much better, and we also got a shovel so we could finally be the aggressor against some of these entities, and oh boy, we were the aggressor. Oh! Oh! Wait, 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 wait. Are they above us? Alright, ready? Oh, it's out of the way! Get out of there, nerd! Yeah, we're fighting oh. back now, but- Oh! Get him! Beat that bitch up! Kill it! Hey, bitch. <laughs> when an enemy is dead and you keep hitting them over and over again, they still make this sound effect, which is really funny. So you can make kind of a sick beat out of it. But anyway, we ended up progressing further into the labyrinth or the abandoned building that we we're in. And I ended up finding an egg beater and signs of something that's even bigger than the enemy that we encountered. And oh boy, did we encounter whatever this monster was. Shit, do we know where we came in from? Oh, there's one, there's one! Oh, what the fuck? Be careful, be careful, come be on, careful. Come on, bitch! Come on! Oh, the shovel ain't working. Why is the egg on me? Ah, 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 get out, get out, get out, get out! Back up, back up, back up, get the fuck out! Oh my god, I'm still chasing you! Shit, is there a door? Right, go up here, go up here, and jump down. We gotta aggro it. Get up here, yeah, make you yeah, come, yeah. Up make come up here, make you come up here. Hey, come up here. God, oh, oh my god. god. What the fuck? It just sank through the floor. Alright, alright, wait, 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 wait. Go, 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 go the other way. Go, fucking go, go, go. Okay, that, that's that like the mama spider, bro. We know how to get out. Oh, I found an engine. Is the engine really a good idea, though? Don't do that. You're fucking with the lights. The spider's coming. The spider's coming. Behind you! Oh, it's climbing up the thing! Don't fuck with the Come lights! Fire expires it! Hello? Oh, 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 go, 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 I got greedy, I grabbed the fucking oh, engine. You're a savage. We ended up going back to the ship and dumping all the stuff that we did have, but we wanted to get more. We were greedy, we wanted to get more, and that greed did not pay off. Also, we were super confident because we had that shovel, and well, that confidence quickly ended. Behind us, you see that? Come here, you bitch! Well, you have one health! Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, I ended up dying in the process, but Gabe was not going to let me die at all. Come on, come on, I'll take you to safety. You're not dead. You're not dead. You're not dead. I got you. Come on, come on. Stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. 
even in death, I was still slightly useful. He took my lifeless corpse back to the ship, and we found out my use. How was your day? Thank you for your your corpse is <laughs> corpse cost five dollars. <laughs> For our sixth day, we had two days left to meet a profit quota of 241, and we ended up heading to another planet, I believe it's the same moon, I'm sorry, not planet, and it was foggy once again during it, and we found a bunch of good junk. We speed ran through everything to get as much money as we could. Hey, okay, okay. During this one, we got so much loot, a ridiculous amount. We actually got so much to the point we actually met our profit quota before two days early. We only encountered this slime throughout it. I don't know why we only encountered this slime the entire time. Like, nothing else popped up out of nowhere. We ended up dipping early and heading to the company really early. I didn't realize that if you sold earlier, you got less money. But we had one oh, day left to meet a profit quota. That's when we went to the company. We said, screw it. We sold all of our junk. And we wanted to make sure that we got more than enough. And well, we pretty much did. But I didn't want to sell the clown horde whatsoever. <laughs> I'm not dropping this horde. This is the greatest thing ever. Ah! Ah! Okay, I'll drop. <laughs> For our final day, I wanted to make it a special one. We're gonna go to a new moon. We had a new profit quota of 352 to reach, but this was our last day. We also bought a boo box. Romantic table? Yo, we can get a toilet. Yo, let's go! Most of the music you heard throughout this video has actually been from the boo box, and well, we spent a lot of money on dumb stuff. Very much worth $120. We went to a new moon that we haven't been to whatsoever. This one is called Offense. Um, I guess there's no other offense. I don't really know why it's called that for the moon. And well, it's like a desert-like moon. It's really weird. It's really odd. The uh, main entrance to go into is like kind of out of the way from our ship. Like we parked super far away. So me and Gabe explored wandering throughout the depths with our flashlight and our shovel. We were we were still confident that we could take all the world at this point, but we were really scared of what entity that we could see because every moon that we go to has different entities and beings in it. And I'm not gonna lie to you. This this game is really scary, especially if you play it by yourself. We encountered something new. It was a sentry turret, and the sentry turret, if you hit it, well, yeah, it kind of goes crazy, and well, Gabe wasn't exactly uh, not letting it. He thought he could destroy it with the shovel, and well, you can't whatsoever. Most of the loot is RNG, but for some reason, I feel like the loot is better in this, and man, we found some god-tier loot. I mean, we found the best things we could ever find, and some things we didn't even want to sell. Oh, let's go, dude! Yeah. You can make cookies! Yo, Christmas cookies! Uh, Yo, wait, hold on, wait. Remote? Careful. Yo, we got a remote for our TV! It actually works, oh, too! Sh oh, shit, keep that. Keep that, that's valuable. We can change the channel! Now that we had a TV remote, all we needed to do was live. And while with our fortune being met, we actually got a lot of misfortune. We wandered through this abandoned segment looking for even more loot, and we had some entities blocking our way, and we encountered something new. It's just me. It's, I'm in here now. Oh my! Oh, 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 fucking god! Get the fuck out of here! Burn, 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 burn. He died? Oh no. Whatever that thing was, it got me. And it didn't get game, thankfully. But I ended up making a vote for the ship to leave in one hour to let him know that I was dead. And well, Gabe got lost and his ship left him. And therefore, concluding our final day and our final day ended in misery. I have zero idea what that thing was. We did it. We spent seven days in Lethal Company. I'm thinking about doing a hundred days in Lethal Company. Let me know if you want it to be hardcore. And let me know if you like this style of content. I'm trying to have more content on the channel because the Platinum Trophy videos take so long to make. They're like my long project videos, but I still will make them. Um, but anyway, you guys have a great day. I love every single one of you. And until next time, bye!